Hey guys, so we are going to be pulling up some cards for the week of October 3rd to the 9th. And uh, on the 9th, just to let you know, we have a full moon in Aries. Um, so I'll be creating an event uh, around that full moon for anyone who's VIP in my membership group. And also if you hop into my membership group or you're already in it, then you know that we have a, a card reading workshop coming up. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 6.30 p.m. It's going to be live in our private Facebook group. So feel free to ask questions. What would you like to learn in relation to cards? It could be um, how to create um, like a structure for yourself, um, how to uh, create symbolism. It could be related to numerology. There are so many different things, like how to know how to know when you're right or when you're wrong. There's lots of stuff. And also there's four spots left in my psychic development program. So if you want to hop into that, it's a great time to join us. Once those spots are filled, then they're filled. And we're going to move on to something else, okay? So, again, if you want a message in relation to your week, just say yes. And I'll also pull you out a card, give you a message, okay? So, aside from this full moon coming in on Sunday which it's because it's in Aries, it's a fire sign, okay? So that's telling me we're working our way towards releasing things that are blocking us from being more open, okay? So this week you might find that if your heart is closed naturally, it's going to be a great time to start working on how to open that, right? So people that are coming into my psychic development program, they're working on trust. They're working on confidence, they are absolutely working on their heart chakra because they're developing um, how to have more compassion, not just for themselves, but for others, okay? So this card here is is telling us that the energy this week might be a little, like, shady, all right? And the reason why the word shady is coming up is because if you really, truly want to release things that are blocking you, you have to be willing to look at that. And so that's where the shadiness comes up, where it's kind of like, oh, I've been living this way for a long time. I'm not sure if I want to change that about myself. That's going to like cost a lot of money or um, like, I don't know if I'm ready to, to make the that type of difference. And the answer is you are absolutely ready. That's just fear getting in the way. So if you're working on any limiting beliefs this week, it's a great time. Um, if you are working on how to shield your energy as well, that's a perfect thing to be working on. The other thing too is talk a little bit more about yourself, okay? If you talk about yourself, you're going to find that it's therapeutic because it's nice to talk about ourselves sometimes, right? It's like as you talk about yourself, you're going to learn things about yourself that you didn't even know about yourself, <laughs> Okay, so a little bit of self-discovery. I'm getting the word imbu, imb, imb, imbu, imbu, uh, <laughs> imbugity, Oh my goodness, I'll have, I'll have to work through that one. And basically, what the word means is when um, you need to be more specific and clear about things. Okay, so that's what I was saying. The the energy is a little murky. It's a little slimy. It's a little gross. But that's okay because that's the reality of it. It's not trying to change things to adapt to what other people want from you. It's what you want for yourself. Okay? Ambugidic. Oh my God. I just cannot say that word right now. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Rock crystal. Okay. This is really talking about sprinkle that fairy dust around and share share it with other people, okay? So what does that fairy dust mean? If it's working with um, your healing gifts, okay? It's, I want to share this with the world. Not only do I want to talk about myself, but I want to share what I have to offer with others. And when you do, you're going to find that that's inspiring to other people. Uh, if you work with crystals, I have quite a few around me uh, today, it feels like important to work on the element of the spirituality side to crystals, okay? Crystals are great. They help us relax, but there's a spiritual energy to them as well. So how can you connect that spirituality with the crystal, okay? Um, because it's super important. The way that your energy uh, is this week is how things are going to line up for you, okay? So there's two ways you can go about it. You can start setting yourself up for success and follow through with your inspiration where this full moon's in a fire energy, or you can lay back, 
relax, and just go with the flow, okay? And if you lay back and go with the flow, it feels like things are still going to move, but you might not get the clarity that you need. So it's a little bit more of an action-oriented week, all right? So it's not about putting out fires, per se, as much as it is um, making sure that you're lighting that spark, lighting that fire. Not just inspiration, but motivation is coming up for people. When we switch uh, from season to season, you can tell, oh, it's getting colder out. I'm, maybe you want to walk less. Maybe you want to exercise um, because you you feel like you don't want to get the winter blues, okay? But what I'm getting to is there's a lot of preventative measures that we're working on as well. So how can I prevent myself from getting sick? How can I prevent myself from feeling tired, okay? And that's where some of my healing products come up for people too. So Lauren, hello, welcome. How are you? Let me know. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling stressed? Let me know. All right, so we're going to pull up a card. There's going to be a message in it for you, but there's also going to be a message in it for the week, okay? Angel light. I'm great. Good. So the fact that you have angel light is talking about healing, understanding healing concepts. So for instance, if you stop doing something that lowered your vibration, celebrate that, all right? Um, if you are the type of person who doesn't sleep well and you've taken... Um, something out of your lifestyle that was causing you to have sleep issues, celebrate that. Okay, so the 11 is really about manifesting. And so it's a great time for people, not just for Lauren, but to start really amplifying their thought patterns. Really put out the energy that you want. I'm talking I am statements. I'm talking about prayer. I'm talking about positivity. I'm talking about giving people compliments. Uh, really, again, expressing your gratitude. As I was saying, talking about yourself might look like, oh, I am so grateful that I have such a beautiful family. I am so grateful that I have all of this food. I would love to share more with you. That sort of thing. It just feels like expression. Talk about your stress too, guys. Talk about anything that you can get off your chest this week, okay? So yeah, Lauren, beautiful energy for you again. Celebrate, appreciate, all of that stuff. And keep doing the hard work because it feels like you're doing that, okay? So uh, Lysanne's asking for a message, okay? So green fluorite here is, a, it's a lucky card, okay? It, it represents the number 12 as well. Um, this is really talking about, as we were talking about inspiration, it's really important to, again, heal anything that's coming up around your heart, okay? Um, when you heal things around your heart this week, as we come into the full moon, you'll get more peace. So as I was already sharing, yes, gratitude's going to be fabulous while we're going through these shifts. But yeah, just honor um, honor what brings you peace at this time, okay? So as you work through all these difficulties and challenges, you're going to get there. And so when we do all this full moon work as well, we get the new moon and we get to manifest and we get to bring in all those beautiful things. So it's finding that healthy uh, balance between um, opening up and then not giving our, our energy away either, okay? Having a nice balance is important. All right, let's move on to Valerie. Someone's messaging me right now um, that is saying that they can't uh, message on Facebook. So trust that you're going to get the messages that you need, okay? Amber, all right. So this is a really great, again, Firestone. Valerie, let me know how are you feeling. I would like to know. I'm getting for you. Um, it feels like you're hitting the pause button on things, okay? But there's a fire energy going on. So the fire energy is saying to keep working through whatever you're experiencing. All right. Keep going. As I was saying, this isn't an energy to stop and, and like stop doing things. This is actually an energy to get moving, get excited about your life. It's like if you want to lose 20 pounds, it's like get excited about losing the 20 pounds. Don't so be like, oh, my God, I have to do that. It's I get to do that. Okay. She's feeling a little stressed, but she's good. Okay, so that makes sense because you don't want to ever feel like you're moving backwards. You always want to feel like things are coming into your life 
again, for a reason, if you believe that. So ask yourself where you feel like you're blocking yourself or holding yourself back a little, okay? So yeah, this week is a general message. Again, just keep going. Uh, keep paying attention to the signs that are coming in as well. That's going to be super important because um, if you watched my October reading on YouTube, and again, I did a little one here as well, um, the word time was really coming up to pay close attention to that timing of things because if you uh, don't, it feels like it's not going to be as good as it could be for you, okay? Yes, I know I'm moving forward, Valerie says. Perfect, okay. So obsidian um, is, again, just another general message. Um, snowflake obsidian is very much about the meditation stone, okay? Um, if you come into uh, the membership group, again, we have that card workshop, but on the 11th of the month, we also do guided meditations. So uh, this is talking about holding crystals while we're receiving healings or while we're, while we're doing clearings is also really important. And the reason for that is because, again, where you're working on gratitude, you're saying all these positive things in your head. But your body sometimes doesn't connect to what you're saying and thinking. So again, the crystal will help you help you. Um, it will help you absorb the energy and uh, ground you, but also purify you. Okay. So if you need crystals or you want recommendations, reach out to me. Um, in general, our messages here are really telling us great time for manifesting, great time for working on solutions to problems. Beautiful new energy if you are initiating things, if you're staying inspired, um, keeping those pots, those thoughts positive. Oh my goodness. Um, and somebody's messaging here, so just ignore them, okay? I'm going to block the person afterwards. But yeah, writing also feels like another great way to put solutions um, out there as well. If you don't have anybody to work with, such as myself, then you can absolutely... Um, do some writing practices and journaling and work through some of that. I had a client recently who uh, was kind of struggling with the need to vent, but not wanting to vent. And I was suggesting to write a forgiveness letter. I forgive you for blank. And then also like I release blank. So where the, um, to keep the energy productive when you're releasing stuff. And also um, like where the full moon is going to be pretty intense it's very much about, again, where we're being negative. So um, you might find that the ocean is very peaceful and, and calming. Um, the solar plexus is also going to be really, really important. So not only are the guided meditations good for people, but some of the um, mindfulness work that I have underneath my VIP uh, program as well might be supportive for those who are working on that uh, physical body connection to having a healthy mindset. All right. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Thanks so much for taking the time. I love it when people share these out so they can reach more people. This will also be underneath my YouTube channel. So please make sure you're subscribed to that and have a wonderful week.